Hey everyone, Edward here at Windows Report and in this video I will show you what to do if the Windows 11 apps won't open. Before diving into the solutions, I highly recommend you to simply restart your system, as this always solves a wide range of issues. But if the Windows 11 apps are still problematic, you can also uninstall them and simply reinstall them again. So, the first solution you should take in consideration is to update the app. To do this, press the Windows button, then type in Store and then select Microsoft Store from the search results. And in the Store app, click on the library icon near the bottom left corner and then in the next slide, click on the blue Get Updates button to download any available updates for the apps. Now you just have to wait for the updates to download and install and then you can check if the problem still persists. Another useful solution is to update Windows 11. To do this, press the Windows button, then type in Update and select the Check for Updates option in the search results. In here you will see a blue Check for Updates button, so just click on it and Windows will scan for any possible updates and install them. You can also run the Windows Store apps troubleshooter. To do this, press the Windows button, then select the Settings icon and then in the Settings app make sure to select System on the left pane and then on the right pane scroll down until you find and select the Troubleshoot option. In here, select the other troubleshooter option and then in the next slide, scroll down until you find the Windows Store apps and click the Run button right by its side. The troubleshooter will scan for potential issues and solve them if possible. Another useful solution is to repair or reset the Windows 11 apps that won't open. To do this, press the Windows button, then select the Settings icon and then on the left pane make sure to select the Apps category and then on the right pane click on Apps and Features to view the apps installed on your computer. Now locate the app that you're facing trouble launching, then click on the ellipsis next to it and select the Advanced Options category. In here, as you scroll down, just click on Repair under the Reset section and wait for the process to complete. This should only take a few moments. Alternatively, you can also click on the Reset option if the Repair button is not accessible or repairing didn't fix the problem. You can also run the Application Identity Service. To do this, press the Windows button, then type in services.msc and select the Services app from the search results. In here, locate and double-click on the Application Identity Service. Now check the service status. If it says Stopped, then simply start the service, then press on Apply and OK to save the changes. And lastly, another useful solution is to modify the registry. To do this, press the Windows button, then type in Reg Edit and select Registry Editor from the search results. In the Reg Edit window, navigate to the following path. Double click on HKey Local Machine, then double click on Software, afterwards find Microsoft, then double click Windows, then Current Version, then double click on Policies, and lastly System. In here, locate the filter Administrator Token key and if you don't have one, you can simply right-click an empty space, then hover over New and select the DWORD value and then name the key as Filter Administrator Token. If you already have it, just double-click it and make sure to set its value to 1. Now press on OK to save the changes, then restart your PC. And that's it. Plenty of solutions to check out. As usual, for more information and details, you can check the article in the description below. And if you enjoyed this video, just make sure to like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.